JavaScript is a language that most browsers understand, and Selenium Web Drivers offers an interface that we can utilize in order to talk to the browser using plain JavaScript. That interface is called JavaScript Executor. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the JavaScript Executor interface in order to open a new tab on the browser. Welcome to Automate Now. This is Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. Let us now manually walk through the steps that we're going to take in this test. So we're going to navigate to AdamateNow.io website. I'm going to hit this sandbox page. Then we're going to open the new tab. When using the Chrome browser, we click on this plus symbol here. And this opens a new tab. And we're going to use this new tab to navigate to a new website. Before doing that though, let's talk a little bit about JavaScript Executor. And JavaScript Executor is a Selenium interface. It allows us to use the web driver to send JavaScript commands to the browser. I will be putting a link in the description so you can read more about it. This interface has several methods that we can use. The one we'll be using today is called execute script. And this says that it executes JavaScript in the context of the currently selected frame or window. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to send a JavaScript command to the browser so that it will open a new tab for us. So how do we know what type of JavaScript command we need to send? A great source for that type of information is w3schools.com. They have a very detailed tutorial on JavaScript. And one of the things we find here, it's information on the browser object model, or BOM. Just as we have a document object model, or DOM, we also have a browser object model. We'll learn here that the browser object model allows JavaScript to talk to the browser. One of the ways that we can accomplish that is by using objects such as this one, the window object. This object represents the browser's window. Let's see what we can do with this window object. If we scroll down, we find the different methods that we can use with this object. And we have open to open a new window, close to close the current window, move to to move the current window, and resize to to resize the current window. The one we're going to be using is this open method. Now let's go to the code. So we're going to go to this base page class and we're going to create a few more methods in here. The first method we're going to create is to open a new tab. And here we're going to call that interface that we talked about the JavaScript executor interface. Inside parentheses, we're going to say JavaScript executor, and we're going to cast the web driver to this by saying driver. Now we need to call that method that we talked about, execute script. So we need to put all of this in parentheses. Then we say dot, and here we're going to select execute script. And the script that we're going to execute is this one here, window.open. So let's copy that. And in quotes, we're going to paste that. And this is the JavaScript code that we're going to be executing to open a new tab. Once the tab is opened, we're going to navigate to a new URL. So let's go ahead and create a method for that here. And we're simply going to say driver.get. Once we visit that new URL in the new tab, we're going to get the page title. So let's go ahead and create a method for that as well in here. And these are all the methods that we're going to need in order to run our test. Now let's go ahead and create that test. And here we have the test. This is to test multiple tabs. And the first thing we're going to do is to open that new tab. Let's just go ahead and call that method from the base page class. Open new tab. Next, we need to switch to that new tab. And because we're starting from the sandbox page, we're going to say sandbox page dot switch to new window. And once we switch to the new window, we can navigate to a new URL by calling go to URL. Now let's go ahead and get the page title. And we're going to call the get page title method. And let's print that title to the console. And the last thing that we're going to do here is to close that new tab by calling close window. So just to recap here, we're going to first open a new tab, then we're going to switch to the new tab. We're going to navigate to nasa.gov. Then we're going to get the page title for nasa.gov. And we're going to print that to the console. And lastly, we're going to close the window for nasa.gov. Let's go ahead and run this test. And we can see here that the test was successful. We also see that the page title for that NASA website is simply NASA. 
So to wrap things up here, let's go ahead and change this print statement and make that an assertion. And we're going to say assert equals page title, comma, and then NASA. We're also going to make sure that after we close that tab, that only one window remains open. And for that, we can use these lines of codes from this previous test. And here we're getting the number of windows that are open, and we're verifying that there's only one open. Let's rerun this test one last time. And once again, the test was successful. Now that you know how to use the JavaScript executor to send JavaScript to the browser, go ahead and experiment with some of these other methods. For example, this close method. We already have a method for closing a window in this base page class. And all we're doing in this method is calling driver.close. Try replacing this line with some JavaScript code. Have fun. Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Intro to Selenium WebDriver. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and become a part of a family of learners. Thank you.